Hello everyone. In this video, let us learn about implementation of Lagrange's interpolation formula through C. First, let us take a look at Lagrange's interpolation formula. Y equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 up to x minus xn whole divided by x0 minus x1 into x0, x0 minus x2 up to x0 minus xn into y0 plus x minus x0 into x minus x2 up to x minus xn whole divided by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 up to x1 minus xn into y1. And similarly, it continues until we get x into a until we multiply and similarly it continues. By looking at this, we can get a basic idea of what all the variables are required. First, we require a variable to store the value of x for which we need to calculate the value of y. Then, we require array to store the values of x and y. And then, a variable to do the numerator calculations, a variable to do the denominator calculations, and a variable to add these both. So, let us take a look at the steps to be followed. First, you must ask the user to input the size that is the number of values of x and y he, want, he or she wants to enter. Then we must take the values of x and y. Then we must display the values of x and y. And then we must indicate the value of x for which we want to calculate the value of y. Then we have the procedure for the calculations. Then we must display the result. First, let us take a look at the program. First, we have the header file, hashtag include stdio.h. Then we have int main, which is the main function. Here, at this part, we have declared the variables we are going to use. We have declared two arrays to store the values of x and y, and a variable to store the value of x for which we want to calculate the value of y, and we have a num, den, and a variable sum. And we have three integer variables n, i, and j n to store the value of the size of the array and i and j for loop purpose. First, let us ask the user to input the size of the array, that is the number of values of x and y the user wants to enter. And so, we will use a scanf statement and store it in the uh, variable n. Then, we must intake the values of x and y. Since we have declared them to be arrays, we must use the for loop so that we can store the values of x and y. In the for loop, we must use the scanf statements so that we can store the values of x and y. Then we must display the values of x and y. So, for this, we must use a printf statement inside the for loop and we have done it in the form of x percent d equal to percentage f because we want it to be displayed in the form of x of 0 equal to x1 equal to x1 e x2 equal to and percentage f because our array is of float data type. Then is the calculation part. First, let us ask the user to enter the value of x for which we must calculate the value of y and use a scanf statement and store the value in the variable xr. Then is the actual calculation part. So, first let us put a for loop. And in that, let us initialize num to 1 and den to 1. And let us take another for loop. And let us put a condition if j is not equal to i. Because as we can see here in the formula, we have x0 minus x1 or and x minus x1. We don't have x minus x0 in the beginning. So, here we cannot get it x0 minus x0. So, we must put this condition. And then we have this for numerator calculations. So that here it is xr minus xj to get x minus x1. Then it is stored in the numerator and multiplied back so that we can get it in the form of x minus x1 into x minus x2. Then we have this part for denominator calculations. We have it xi minus xj so that it can be x0 minus x1. And then it is stored in the den variable and it is multiplied back with this part so that we can get it in the form of x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2. Then we come out of the j loop. We have uh, this statement. First here we have uh, divided num by den so that it can be in the form of x minus x1 into x minus x2 whole divided by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 and we have multiplied it with yi so that we can, multi we can get into y0 
and then we have stored it in sum and we have again added sum to the next part that is to get it in the form of x minus x1 into x minus x2 into y0 divided by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 plus x minus x0 into x minus x2 into y1 divided by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2. Then in the next part we must display the result. So for displaying the result we use a printf statement and we must display the result. So this is the program. So I have got a question here on the Lagrange. I have got a question here on the Lagrange's interpolation formula. Let us execute the program and check if we can get the same answer. Here, the number of x and y's we want to enter is 4. The value of x0 is 0, value of y0 is minus 4, value of x1 is 2, value of y1 is 2, value of x2 is 3, value of y2 is 14, value of y3 is 6, x3 is 6, value of y3 is 158. And this is how our uh, x and y values are displayed. So now we must enter the value of x for which we must find the value of y. So the value of x is 4. So let us enter 4. And then our result is 40. And here also the result is 40. So this is how the program works. Thank you.